Hi, this is Brian Bennett for CNET.com, and today we're taking a first look at the Samsung Galaxy S Aviator for U.S. Cellular. This attractively styled handset costs $199.99 and is the first phone on U.S. Cellular to offer a 4G data connection. Though it uses plastic construction, the Aviator's build quality is high with attractive curves and beveled edges. It has a big 4.3-inch Super AMOLED screen that makes colors pop and blacks deep. Above the display is a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. Below the screen are four typical Android buttons. They are actually physical keys and not the capacitive buttons found on more premium phones. On top is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The right side holds the power button and a flap covering an HDMI connection for compatible HDTVs and monitors. On the left is a volume bar and micro USB port. Around back is the Aviator's 8 megapixel camera and LED flash, which is responsive and takes pretty good photos. But don't be fooled by its high flying name and fancy Galaxy branding. The Galaxy S Aviator is really a mid range device that sits slightly above Samsung's original Galaxy S, but below the Galaxy Nexus and even the older Galaxy S2. Basically, the Aviator features a weak 1 GHz single core processor. Unlike the dual core chips powering the Galaxy Nexus and Galaxy S2. Also, the Aviator runs Android 2.3 Gingerbread and not the most recent form of the OS, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, like the Galaxy Nexus. Another thing to consider is a limited coverage of US Cellular's 4G LTE network, which is only available in six regions, including areas of Wisconsin, Texas, Oklahoma, Maine, North Carolina, and Iowa. I'm Brian Bennett, and this has been a first look at the Samsung Galaxy S Aviator. Be sure to check out our full review at CNIP.com.